14-7 our score. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Warner. On the right side, caught by Green. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. A strong running. <laughs> now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Throwing here to start the drive. Quick slant here to Smith. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down. Foles. And it's caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Jones, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Ryan Jones taking it in for two yards out, and the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we're usually talking about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 21-7. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Stopped up at the 25.
ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here. Let's go on. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. On the ground, it's James. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Randy, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> this sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. It'll be Warner on first down. Little reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll run on first down. James. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Working with a second and three. Now Warner. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. And that right there, his first incompletion of the game, pretty remarkable. So let's start talking about all-time records because with that incompletion, maybe over a two-game sequence or maybe he starts a new streak now because Ryan Tannehill, over two games, hit 25 straight. Now, the incompletion, we're, we're taking this record out of play. But Mark Brunel, when he's at Washington, 22 straight completions to start a game. This guy's on fire. To throw, Warner. James has got it, complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now Warner. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Operating from the gun, Warner. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Let's go, baby. Let's go. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done, down to the 15 from the 21. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, 
but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, the heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Back to throw again. Touchdown, Cardinals! A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. They'll come out throwing here on first down. It's caught, Smith, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Foles over the middle to Smith. So that one will be accepted. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Now back to throw. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Foles. 
Finding room inside the 40. And finally down at the 32 yard line. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. 